All right, David Harry here. So what I've got on the table is an iPhone 15, an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and also the fastest SSD that I've managed to put together so far for the iPhone 15 series. So what I'm going to be doing here is to test both of these phones to see how they compare to one another, reading and writing the same file to an external SSD. Okay, so first up is the iPhone 15. I'm going to go to its files app here. I'm going to go to the external drive here. And then what I'm going to do is to copy the file from the external drive. So I'm going to hit copy there. I'm now just going to bring in this other iPhone here as a timer. So let me go back here. I'm going to go to the internal storage here on this iPhone. And I'm going to paste and time to see how long it takes. So give us a moment. Okay, so that's now going over. I will speed up and then I will come in at the end and we'll see how long it has taken to copy the file from the external SSD to the internal storage on the iPhone 15. Okay, so I'm gonna come back in here and get ready to hit stop as soon as that file is transferred. Stop. Okay, so that was four minutes and one second. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is to copy the file from the iPhone 15 to the external SSD. So I'm going to go into the iPhone there. I'm going to copy this file. So I'm going to hit copy there, come back here, go to the external SSD, and I've already deleted the file from there. So once again, I'm going to hit paste and start at the same time. Okay, and then once again, what I'm going to do is just speed through this, come back at the end and get a timing. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop once the file is transferred. Stop. Okay, so that was 4 minutes and 39 seconds. Okay, so I'm now going to do the exact same thing, but this time with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So what I'm going to do is go to the file manager here, and the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the external drive or the external SSD. Then I'm going to copy the same file to the internal storage of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let me just select that file there. I'm going to copy the file. I will come back here, I will go to the internal storage on the iPhone, and then I'm going to paste here and then start the timer, give me a moment. Okay, and then once again what I'm going to do, in fact I don't have to speed this up, as we can see that's going right the way through dead fast, I'm going to have to be careful here to get the timing, hold on. Okay. Let's call that 12 seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to copy the file from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to the external SSD. So let me just go to the internal storage. I'm just going to select the file and copy it. I'm gonna come back here. I'll go to the external storage. As you can see, I've already deleted the file there. So let me just hit the paste button and the start button at the same time here. And once again, I won't have to speed this one up because this is still going to be fast anyway. Okay, so it's halfway through. Well, it's over halfway through. Let me get ready to stop here. Stop. Okay, let's basically call that 12 seconds as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to make some simple calculations to work out in megabytes per seconds how long this file took to transfer to and from both the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, as far as the results are concerned, the file being used to read and write to the iPhones was 10,631 megabytes in size, and that is as measured by Mac OS, which measures in base 10, just as the iPhones do. So going from the SSD to the iPhone 15 took four minutes and one second, and that is 241 seconds. So if we divide 10,631 by 241, we get 40. And that is 44 megabytes per second. Then when we go from the iPhone 15 to the SSD, that took 4 minutes and 39 seconds, which is 279 seconds. So if we divide 10,631 by 279, we get 38, which equals 38 megabytes per second. Now going from the SSD to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, that took 12 seconds. So if we divide 10,631 by 12, we get 800. So that is 800 
185 megabytes per second. And then when we go from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to the SSD, the time was exactly the same, which was 12 seconds. So once again, if we divide 10,631 by 12, we get 885, which once again equals 885 megabytes per second. Now looking at this as a times multiplier, writing to the iPhones, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was 20 times faster than the iPhone 15. And then reading to the iPhones, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was 23 times faster than the iPhone 15. So just to summarize now, so we can actually understand exactly why we have got these numbers. So the SSD here is one that I've made up. Now this is a Sabrent NVMe to USB-C enclosure. And inside of it, I have got a Samsung SSD 980, which is a Gen 3 NVMe SSD. Also, this entire package here is capable of running up to 10 gigabits per second, which is 1,250 megabytes per second. And the cable that comes supplied with the enclosure is also a 10 gigabits per second cable. So looking at the phones now, and I will just explain some stuff about the phones. The iPhone 15 here has a USB-C port. However, its USB-C port is limited to USB 2 speeds, which which is 480 megabits per second, which is 60 megabytes per second, because obviously we have eight bits in one byte. Now, even though it is supposedly capable of 60 megabytes per second, we weren't even getting that in this test. And don't forget, this SSD here and its cable cannot be a limiting factor. Now, when we look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max here, its USB-C port is capable of doing 10 gigabits per second, which is 1,250 megabytes per second. Now, whilst we still didn't actually reach those speeds with this particular SSD, there's definitely going to be some kind of an overhead going on here. And it's highly likely that that particular highest speed that we got may well be the highest speeds that the iPhone 15 Pro Max can actually do in real world usage. Now, although neither of these two phones phones actually hit their stated highest speeds as far as their USB bus speeds are concerned. Like I've just said, there may well be overhead going on here to stop that. Now, as far as the 15 is concerned, this definitely would not have been limited by its internal storage. The internal storage on the iPhone 15 is effectively an NVMe SSD, and it is definitely way faster than any of the results that we've seen here. So once again, it is simply the USB-C port on the iPhone 15 limiting its internal SSD. Now, of course, the iPhone 15 Pro Max here also has effectively an internal SSD. However, because its USB-C port isn't quite as limiting as the iPhone 15, that's the reason why we will see much higher speeds on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And even if it doesn't reach that 1250 megabytes per second mark as soon as we start getting close to 900 megabytes per second with something like this i think we can definitely say that it is doing okay so just what is the end result here then well you've just seen it yourself the iphone 15 pro max utterly completely and totally destroys the iphone 15 in its ability to be able to read and write to external ssd media now if you're one of those people out there who thinks that it doesn't matter how fast the iPhone 15 can read and write to external SSDs, then that's fair enough. However, if you are somebody intending on buying an iPhone 15 and you buy a high capacity version and you're going to be shooting loads of video, then you need to be warned as to how long those videos are going to take to move over to an SSD. And don't forget, it took at least over four minutes just to move a 10 gigabyte file. Now imagine if you you've got say 100 gigabytes worth of data inside that iPhone 15 or maybe 200 gigabytes worth of data or maybe even more as far as say video files and picture files are concerned. I think if you do some simple math you can see how
how long this is going to take you. Anyways, that should just about do it for this video and I'd be really interested in what other people think about this particular test and exactly what these speeds on the iPhone 15 mean to them. Now, if this video was useful to you in any way, please do give it a thumbs up or if you super liked the video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel to get notifications for other videos similar to this as I will be doing even more stuff between the iPhone 15s here. And as ever, there will be Amazon links in the description below to everything used in this video and I'm fairly sure some people out there might be interested in putting one of these SSDs together in which case there will also be a link to a video showing you how to do that. Anywho, I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now. <laughs>